All right, hello everybody and welcome. My name is John and today I want to share with you my three keys for successful meditation. Now, it doesn't matter what style you practice or what techniques you use. These three ingredients are something that we all need to balance in our own practice and in our own lives in order to really go deep in meditation. Now, I recently released a video explaining the first three stages of meditation. So if you're new to meditation or just want to pick up some additional tips, please go and check out that video. Um, but the reason that I'm making this video today is because understanding how these three keys fit together really will help you troubleshoot your own meditation and can really highlight what it is you need to focus on so that you can start to be more consistent and more successful in your own practice. So we're not going to go over specific techniques or exercises for developing these keys in this video, but we're just going to talk about their relationship and how they function together so that you can learn how to be more successful and more consistent in your own practice. All right, so here it is. The three keys to successful meditation are concentration, relaxation, and energy. Anytime you're concentrated, relaxed, and energized, you are good to go. That is the best time to practice meditation, and really it's the best time to do anything at all. So, But when those three things are all working together, that's when meditation is effortless and easy and just feels natural, and it feels like every cell of your body is actually cooperating, and even your mind becomes interested in meditation and you don't have to try so hard or struggle to get where you're trying to go. Okay, so here's what we need to remember. Without concentration, there is no control. Without relaxation, there is no depth. And without energy, there is no awakening. So it's only when all three of these things are working together can we really put the full force of our being into our practice. So let's break this down and look at each of them individually. Okay, concentration. So concentration is what gives us control of our own development. This lets us steer ourselves in the direction we want to go, and it makes learning everything else much easier. Now, while a strong ability to concentrate is very helpful in developing yourself and developing the two other keys to meditation, if you don't have this yet, it's perfectly all right. By deepening your relaxation and increasing your energy, concentration will become more accessible. So I know a lot of people feel like they struggle with this the most, but I just want to show you that you can actually enhance your concentration by focusing on energy and relaxation. Now, you do not need full-blown concentration in order to be successful in meditation. We just need to have moments of concentration and we want to start stringing those together and making them more frequent. But you don't have to just sit and concentrate for 10 minutes or, or fail. Anytime that you're bringing awareness to your practice, you are succeeding. And if you can do that once in a session, you can learn to do it twice in a session. And you just need that one moment as a starting point which allows you to continue building on your practice over time. Relaxation. So relaxation is extremely important. This is what helps us to release all the thoughts, ideas, emotions, beliefs, physical tension, energy blockages. Relaxation helps us to release all these things that are getting in the way of our true potential. Now relaxation will also tame your energy, making it easier to control. So this is very helpful to understand if you're looking to develop your concentration. Now relaxation also calms the mind, taking it from a thousand thoughts per minute to ten thoughts per minute or less. And this makes it much easier to concentrate as well. So I want you to just think which is easier, learning to ride a bicycle or learning to ride a motorcycle? Now, assuming you've never ridden either one before, what is the best place to start? Now, if you answered motorcycle, you are wrong. That's not correct. <laughs> Bicycles are much easier to control. So just think that relaxation is what takes all this wild energy of your mind that you cannot focus, and it helps to just slow it all down 
making it more manageable for you and giving you more access to stronger levels of concentration. All right, so energy. Energy actually gives us something to focus on. It prevents us from falling asleep and it starts to awaken our higher potential. Now, if you're concentrated and relaxed, you can have a pleasant experience, but without energy, you can't go beyond what you already know. It's the activation of energy that lifts us to a higher level of consciousness. So when our energy body is active, it becomes much easier for us to focus internally. Now, without energy, there can be no awareness of energy, and so we cannot move beyond the physical dimension. So energy is extremely important, but it can also become too powerful, and then we cannot control it, and we cannot relax. So just think of someone who is high on methamphetamines. They have a tremendous amount of energy, but they have no control and they are not relaxed whatsoever. They are along for the ride and there's just nothing they can do about it. So I know a lot of people are chasing these powerful energetic experiences in their life and I've definitely done that. And while it can be helpful in strengthening your belief in greater reality and reminding you of who you really are, but it really doesn't directly make you more effective at living your best life. What we really need to do is to develop our concentration, our relaxation, and our awareness of energy in a balanced way so that we can continually go deep in meditation. So the balance of these three is extremely important. And the one takeaway and practice I want to leave you with is just a simple practice of self-reflection. So at the end of your session, I want you to rate your concentration, your relaxation, and your energy levels from low, medium, to high. Rate all three of them and just start to notice any patterns or trends you have. And then you can also rate overall the quality of your meditation practice that day. So if you had a great meditation, probably you're gonna see that all three of these things were medium or high. And if you didn't have a great meditation, maybe you weren't concentrated, maybe you're too tired or you're too tense, you'll start to see these patterns and that will tell you that will highlight for you which one you need to work on in your own practice and which one maybe you can start to cultivate more just throughout the day as well. So a lot of times on the path of meditation you'll have these wonderful experiences, you'll have these decent experiences, and you'll have a lot of times where things just aren't happening. Nothing's working, working. you're not able to get to where you've gotten previously and it can be very difficult to understand why that is. I promise that if you start tracking your levels of concentration, relaxation, and energy, every time you practice, you'll get a very clear picture of why that is and is not working for you. So I really hope you found this helpful. I think it's a wonderful way to increase the effectiveness of your practice just by taking a few moments to reflect now at some point I will release some videos with specific practices for developing any of these three keys. In the meantime, if you have questions, please reach out to me in the comments section below. And if you're not sure how to meditate or you want to learn some more techniques, please go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Again, I thank you so much for watching and I hope you all the best in your practice and in your life. I will see you in the next video. Namaste.